video guys, we are here at Bergen County Harley Davidson. And right here we have this 2022 Street Glide, this 2022 Road Glide. And in the back we got the Road King. Okay. So obviously we're going to be talking about Street Glide versus Road Glide, what makes them different and how they are so similar in any way. But we're also going to add in a nice little special touch right now. So we just got these in uh, yesterday, these came in? Yes sir. Yesterday, so this is the Apex paint job edition that Harley Davidson dropped when uh, Sturgis was rolling right around. Um, you guys got them a little late. We did. But I mean, better late than never, right? Yeah, I mean, due to everything, how everything is out there, like they obviously they got each one. They got a, they got these plus the limited. Yeah, so our limited is being prepped right now. Um, the road glide came in yesterday, sold yesterday, so yeah. she's leaving um this morning. So we're gonna do this quick video with you guys. Yeah, so I mean, like I said, we'll, we'll hop into the comparisons of how these bikes are so different. Um, at the same time, they're really almost the same exact bike. Um, then we'll give you a few close-up shots of the paint job because from far away, it kind of looks like it's just an orange line and splitting up the black and the gray, but it's uh, a lot more than that. Um, so I get asked this question, uh, asked a lot, very frequently. What makes the Street Glide different from the Road Glide? You guys know me already. I have a Road Glide at home, but I'm a huge, huge fan of the Street Glide. I think the Street Glide is a beautiful bike. It's awesome, and hopefully down the line, one day I could have one in the garage. Yeah, you um, and me both, buddy. Yeah, I want a Street Glide so bad. <laughs> so, despite everything in the front, the bikes are completely identical. Identical, identical towards the back. Everything's the same. These two here are the special, so they're literally identical. The only difference is going to be the fairing in the front. So the Road Glide has the shark nose fairing. The Street Glide has the bat wing fairing. Which one do you like better? I love the Street Glide fairing. I don't know why. I want to be in control. I feel like you're not with the Road Glide. I don't know. It's just it's different. So you know, it's I, different. It's good that you're here because I kind of want to get into that because mm -hmm. that, that that's like the big thing. So obviously the the. The shark nose fairing on the Road Glide, it's, it looks a bit much beefier. It's wide. It, it's, it seems wide. <laughs> it, it, it seems wider and bigger, and that's just because of the design back here. Um, and then also to that, the Road Glide is going to be different in a way that the fairing is going to be frame mounted. So obviously you move your tire here and your bars and your frame, I mean your fairing stays right in place because it's mounted right onto the frame of the bike. As opposed to the back wing fairing right here, when you move the bars, the fairing moves with you. I feel like it's safer that way in my world. I don't know why. Safer? I do, only because I feel like I'm in control of it moving. We're here, it's so stable, and you're like, wait, why is it not moving? <laughs> so it's, a, it's, it's like, I, I think it has a lot to do with just it's all in your mind yep. because I, I actually thought that in the beginning. I'm like, well, you know, and there's, there's a lot of discussions like which one handles better. Yeah. The, the, does the Road Glide handle better because it's not mounted onto the forks? And it's like, no. It's Everyone tells me that the Road Glide handles better, but I haven't gone on a long trip with the Road Glide. I've taken the Street Glide everywhere. So it's like, I don't get it. So you see, that's the thing. I've gone on really long trips on my Road Glide. On the Street Glide, I've, I've done a few like, you know, around town rides many times. Mm. I'm able to take one out, but never, I've never spent too much time with this, which I want to do. I guess that's a video we got to do. Both of us riding these. It is. We'll do the difference. So, Bergen, can we borrow two bikes from here and go let's, somewhere fun? Let's go. For the weekend and come back. <laughs> <laughs> that, that'd be awesome. I'm in. That'd be really awesome. Um, so th that's like the huge, huge difference. Um, the Road Glide is going to give you a bit more pocket uh, space right here as well, so you're able to put in sunglasses, your phone, keys, or what. anything that fits in your pocket, you can fit in there, which is pretty cool. I really like that about that. Um, the Street Glide doesn't have that option. You can only kind of stuff in your phone if it fits in there, and that's it. Um, one thing I will say, even though I'm a Road Glide owner, the Street Glide kind of gives you a bit of, I, I don't know if it's because the gauges are right in front of you, the fairing is closer to you. Um, the road glide is further out. <clears throat> so as far as like the, the wind buffeting, that wind bubble that you're gonna have between you and the fairing right here, that's another thing, another reason why I wanna take this bike on a long road, on a long ride, because I wanna see how it does in the wind for hours and hours on a long trip. Um, because I think you being closer to the fairing, the wind's just gonna buff it right over you. As opposed to the uh, road glide, you have a lot of space. You know, it, 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 it breaks off, it kind of hits you right here, even though it does really good. I feel like the it breaks the wind really good when I'm out there on those long rides. Um, and I have really no complaints about it. But I think this 
it, it might do better. I, I, I would I'm say sure. it definitely does. I went on a long trip out to Pennsylvania and I was like, I didn't feel anything. I'm like, that's crazy. When I was on the road glide, I felt like it was taking me off. I'm like, what? Like, yeah. What a difference between, and they're similar, but yeah. that's higher. So it, it definitely blocks a lot more of that wind. And then the, having the fairing close to you, I, I guess that's kind of where the confidence, it, it, it plays with your mind because having this close up to you and you being able to move your bars and seeing everything move, I think kind of gives you more of a, a calmer feeling as opposed to you being on the road glider and you're just like this and if you turn it, it's just staying. Like, I think it just plays with people's minds in a way when people say, oh, well, this bike handles better because they, they honestly, they, they kind of handle the same. They really do. As far as weight, these bikes are around 900 pounds each. Um, they're really heavy. Um, are they the, the easiest bikes to handle around? No, I mean, once you get them rolling, yes, it's fine, <laughs> but I mean, you can't compare the weight ratio to, let's say, a soft tail or, or a Sportster. But that's honestly gonna be the biggest, biggest difference between both these bikes. It's just the fairing. Everything else is completely the same. The bags are the same, engine's the same, primary is the same, the engine guards are the same, the wheels are the same, everything is the same, except from this point, on right here and for me i feel like the double headlights looks weird i don't know really, really? i'm like ah but see on your bike it looks amazing because you got that uh, whole set of lights yeah so of yeah. course if it came like that but like i i like the big single led light bright visible um and i feel like it looks like a heart this looks like a bumblebee sometimes <laughs> what <laughs> i don't know i'm like oh and if you think about it, a couple of years ago, they were getting rid of the road glides and then they came back. Yeah. So it's like, once you got rid of it, everybody wanted it. But when we had them, we couldn't tell. So well, it was getting, it went through that phase where it got redesigned. Yeah. From the old fair. So it's definitely doing a lot better now because everybody comes in looking for road glides. Well, if it's, you come it's, to the showroom, they're all road glides on the left side now. <laughs> road glides are they're the, back. The, the best selling baggers. For sure. As far as here. Yeah. Sure. I'm not sure where you guys are at, but here. We're a big touring dealer. so. We have that balance of the two, which is nice, but road glides will definitely go with force refund. Yeah. Now, talking about the light review, I'm happy you brought that up. We're going to talk about that next. Uh, there's people out there that say, well, when you're on, on the street glide, since you're able to move it, you know, and if you're in dark, it's going to, the light's going to go wherever you go. Yep. And it's going to light up the road for you better. Since this is just, if you turn, is gonna stay in place. And it's like, that's also nonsense as well. <laughs> it is. Number one, you're not gonna go to an 80 degree corner exactly. like this. I it, thought the same thing though. It doesn't I did, I'm like, why? <laughs> it lights up just the same. There's a reason why there's two lights on there. It's well spread out. Um, vision is really good. And if you want a lot more light, then get some Baja lights. There you go. <laughs> those right things. behind you, you don't need nothing. <laughs> yeah, those things light up everything. That's gonna be a pretty, I think we pretty much covered everything. We'll give you some B-roll shots of everything. Let's get into the whole paint scheme right now. I wanna yes. show you this, guys, up close. All right, so like I was saying before, you're, you're gonna see the, the black, the orange breaking up with the gray right there. But if you zoom in, you're gonna see that beautiful Harley Davidson logo all spread out. It goes from dark, it lightens up to the end, and that's probably like my favorite part on this paint job. And because far away, it just seems like, oh, it's just, it's okay, it's just some stripes, but no. Up close, it has those beautiful details. And then you're gonna see that on the fairing. You're gonna see that throughout the tank as well, which we're gonna show you. And then it goes out throughout the bag as well. It's just a beautiful, nice touch. I think they did a really good job. This paint is gonna cost you a bit more. So you're looking at around 21, maybe it's $2,300 more just for this paint job. But it's a, it's a nice paint job, something that you're not gonna see out in the streets too often. Um, no, it's not numbered, it's not limited, but it's just a beautiful, nice paint job. Another option that you have out there to have to make your bike look a lot more different and stand out from the rest in the pack. So one thing I noticed when I was looking at it, on the front of the fairing, you got the bar and shields in the front and then they fade out. But then on the back of the bike, you have them at the back dark fading out. So they're coming in together. Nice. Which is pretty cool. All right guys, so obviously right here, we gave you a nice little shot of the four of them. We got the Road King, we got the Road Glide. We got the Street Glide Limited, and then we got the Street Glide as well. So you got four picks. If you're in the area, stop by. Road Glide is very sold, so you got three left and uh they're beautiful in person you really got to see them in person up close the details on these bikes are really really nice and like i said it's it's a special paint that you're not going to see you're going to come across too much too often 
Um, thank you, sir, for thank your you. help. Always also, we you. are going to plug in bike night. Yes. Last bike night. La last bike night of the year. If you're in the Bergen County area, Rochelle Park, Bergen County, Harley Davidson, is hosting our last bike night. Um, Thursday from 5 to 9. So if you're in town or you're around, it's going to be a little cold, but come on down. We'll have fire pits, food truck, music, and all that good stuff. I'll be here. And with that, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.